Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. Today we've got to put some hydraulic lines on my tractor, my project tractor I should say. It broke a few months, a couple, about a month or two ago and I'm in progress of working on it. While I had it apart, I wanted to put in uh, remote hydraulics and I'll insert a picture right here and show you the hydraulic part I put on. I've already mounted the plate and the way this plate is supposed to work is hydraulic pressure is supposed to go through the plate out through the pressure side port through another hand valve back into the tank side of the port and then it activates the, the rear the blade arms so stick around and uh, we'll see if I can figure this stuff out thanks again Here's the plate. This is the original block off plate for the for the blade arm. This is a control for the blade arms right here. And the way they've got it designed, look at the water on that. I'll have to clean that off. Anyway, the way it's designed is, is it steals hydraulic flow from in here, sends it to where you need it, and then it lets it go back in here, actually here, to operate the hand valve and the lift. All right, here we go. Right there is a P for pump. So, let me take that out. I'm gonna go ahead and put Loctite hydraulic it's says thread sealant, Loctite, pneumatic and hydraulic. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it and to one piece at a time and build this thing out and see if I can't figure it out. I've, they say put it on the threads but not on the first two. So here we go. Try to go one more round. Yeah, I think we can. Gotta be careful though, I'm screwing this into aluminum. Okay. Now. I know I'm not going to put this one there, but I want it to go as low as it can and still be able to get the next one on. So, now my question is, oh, would you look at that? It overlaps, but because this is down, I'm able to get that one screwed in. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to take a grinder and grind off the corners. Wow, that is amazing. Well, I dodged a bullet there. Butterfingers. Sometimes these wrenches, if you don't use them in a while, they get stiff. Like your old bones. I'm torquing them until I hear my bones pop. That's the old man torque wrench. Mm, click! <laughs> click! Now. Now, let's see if this inch and a sixteenth. Yay, it fits! I used to put Teflon tape on threads and I suppose you probably still could because I did it for years but I have been hearing rumors that Teflon tape is not good for hydraulics unless you get a certain kind well as luck would have it I don't have that certain kind so 
I ordered, I guess I could have ordered that certain kind, but I wanted to see how doing it proper would work. There we go, come on. Easy peasy. Oops, come on. No! I think maybe I'm putting too much of this on there. But I've never done this before. Tell me in the comments, am I doing this right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just saw it too. I just saw it too. How am I going to get this on here? If I put that on there and tighten it up. See, I told you I didn't know what I was doing. Y'all yell louder because I, I didn't hear you. Sorry. People tell me that it's important not to get this stuff inside the fitting because you do not want that in your hydraulic system. Come on, a little bit more. I didn't hear the click. Click! Okay. Now. I know now. We're all learning this for the very first time, for me anyway. Uh, you can do it! You can do it! Uh. Now I may have to reorganize this. This is my four wheel drive shifter. I may have to bend this around and put it up further over here. I think if I raise this up flat, Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Take the hose off. This ain't that hard. I know, I'm hoping it don't leak when I put it back together. When I put it back in the correct position. I'm probably putting way too much of this stuff on there, but my philosophy is if a little bit's good, a lot ought to be better, right? Brown. You know, this just might work. For funsies, we got a too much. Painted my tractor purple. Oh, come on. Don't do that. Come on. Almost there. There. Okay. Now. Uh, there we go. You know, I don't think I want that touching because any vibration may cause that to wear a hole in that plastic. And I don't know that it would matter, but. Now. After a quart of liquid love. Let's see how this works. Now the hose you don't supposed to put, you're not supposed to put sealant on because it seals inside like a compression fitting. Come on, get with it. This isn't laborious. There's your $10 word for the day, laborious. It isn't really laborious. And it isn't a strain on the old noodle. There you go, in one paragraph, laborious and noodle. Boy, I'm both ends of the spectrum today. 
but it is tedious to get this hose routed right. This is just temporary. Uh, like I said, when I get the tractor put back together and I get the fender put back on, I'm gonna mount a hydraulic hand valve. My plan is a three spool hand valve mounted on the fender. And right now, with just if I just plugged off that plate, he was like, why don't you just plug it off? I read the directions online on this part and uh, according to them if you plug the plate off it deadheads the hydraulic pressure the blade arms won't work and it just you may mess up something you could mess up the pop off uh, high, high pressure spring in the hydraulic system and I don't know if that's this is maybe before that spring so you might just split the pump I don't know I don't hydraulics intrigue me they're pretty simple, but at the same time, they have components that I don't quite understand. So, back at it. It pays to get the right wrench. The good thing about this is, is you can twist this hose in any configuration you want. Yeah, snug it up right there. I don't know. Come on, Betsy. Perhaps. See, this is two wheel drive and that's four wheel drive. Well, with it all the way back. Sorry, I got my hand away. With it all the way back, it hits this. That's in four-wheel drive. So it can't go back any further. So I can't bend the shifter up. So going all the way forward, it hits here. So I think the only thing I can do is to point it down. And this, see, I, I, I think, maybe if I turn this handle, Please don't break, please don't break. Aha, Capitan. Look at that. It clears here and it clears there. When? Okay. Look, parts left over. That's probably 10 bucks I could have saved right there. Plan now. He's <laughs> to crank it up and look for leaks. I don't believe in crossing my fingers. It's superstitious, but hope it don't leak. And I hope it cranks up. It's not been crunk in a while. So here's a cold start. say it was a win no leaks on the hydraulics everything went together perfectly and uh, everything still works so you know putting that valve on there 
me and my son had multiple conversations. It can't work, it can't work, it can't work. But I'll be dogged if it does. So I want to hold all the hydraulic parks come in, like the top link and the hand valves and all that stuff. I'll do another video and um, I'll bring you along for those as well. So I'll make probably a little series, you know, part A, B, C, whatever. But my plan is to do a three spool valve, one for the top link, one for the side tilt, and one for accessories for future use. I also plan on adding a power beyond to the front of the tractor, so um, electronic circuit for the third function for the front end. And uh, so hopefully, my idea is maybe put a solenoid on that third function on the front so that I can get two functions out of one and make a quick connect for the bucket so it can be a hydraulic quick connect as well as a third function for a clamp. So, who knows, getting all kind of fancy dancy with that thing. But I wanted to thank each and every one of you for watching. Um, I know I don't post as much videos as I should. It's just, no excuses. I just hadn't got around to doing it yet. And I wanted to thank you for watching the video. And if you like this stuff, if you want to see what happens next on this build, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification. Uh, that way you, you get, uh, You'll, you'll get the updates. So I apologize for sucking at this. I'm not really good in front of a camera, but I'm just trying to document this and sh share it with, with you guys and maybe, maybe help somebody. So y'all take care and I'll see you on the next one.